Oh, that's amazing. That's going to be hectic loud. <laughs> Look at that. Actually so good on drums, the opal. Hey, and welcome back to the Emlyn In The Mix show, season four, episode 27. We're going to be checking out UVI's brand new effects bundle. Yes, we're going to be applying it to a little track that I've put together here today. Well, it's more or less a loop, but I'm going to show you how these effects can be applied in a track environment. Make sure if you want to just get to the goods, you can skip along down below. I've only got a little bit of housekeeping to get through today, and it is essentially just a word from our sponsor. Big shout outs to our sponsor today, who is the Ridley Academy. Learn how to play piano in 21 days and reach a pro level fast with the Ridley method. I'll have a link down below if you want to become a master piano player. You can literally register. It's a free masterclass, so you can check out the video and see if it's something that you want to do. But it's definitely important to get technically trained when it comes to producing and making music. If you have that as your foundation, it is going to help you in the long run with producing amazing tracks that get attention. So definitely check out the link down below. Become a piano master in 21 days. Thank you to our sponsor, Ridley Academy. Now let's get straight into the main feature. And big shout outs to my homies over at UVI for hooking this one up for us to check out the effects bundle today because I, I pretty much love everything UVI does. So I'm probably going to be biased today in the video. No, I'll do my best. But uh, other than UVI getting me to check out or giving us the chance to check out this effects bundle, there is really no kickback for me. We do need to sort that out, UVI. Let's get the affiliate, li affiliate links rolling down below. But I'll have a link down below nonetheless. This effects bundle is only $199 as an intro price right now, so you might want to check that out. Or it is part of their Sonic Pass, which is becoming more and more desirable if you're into doing the monthly subscription or annual subscription for that matter. Sonic Pass just got a hell of a lot more desirable with this effects bundle. So let's get stuck into it. So what is actually included with the effects bundle? Well, I'm just gonna scroll down here, I'm on the website. So we get Shade, which is their advanced EQ and creative multiband sound shaping environment. And it combines unparalleled section of 35 filter shapes with 10 types of modulators and allows effortless creation of effects like de flanger, phaser, enhancer, auto pan, tremolo, compressor, dynamic EQ, and drive wah, auto wah. It's essentially a multi effects processor in itself, but it is an incredible EQ tool, EQ shaping tool for that matter. Now, what is new here? This is Opal as part of the as part of the effects bundle, it is a groundbreaking journey into physical modeling, delivers seven variations of iconic optical compressions and modernized features. So I'll be showing that off today. Uh, I'll be showing hopefully all of these off today. We're just going to play around with the little track. Again, timeline down below if you want to get to that. Plates is also part of this effects bundle. What is play? It's a physical modeled electromechanical reverb delivering stunning sound and versatility capable of classic hardware sounds and beyond. And of course we have spark verb, cutting edge algorithmic reverb delivering stunning sound and ease of use providing both extreme versatility and a light CPU footprint. There's heaps here. Jewel Delay X, which I've already done a video on on this channel, one of my favorite delay plugins for sure. It's a unique approach to spatial delay, provides a wide range of characterized sounds with an easy to use master interface. We've got Relayer. What is Relayer, you ask? Well, it is a precision multi-tap delay with extensive shaping control and goes from subtle to extreme with elegant style and unrivaled usability. All right, we'll see where we can use that in the track today. We've also got a rotary, which is the modern evolution of the classic rotary speaker sound, gorgeous vintage tone, deep control, and an expansive sonic range. Useful on any instrument, you've got a phaser. This phaser I love. Uh, it's a modern, rich, feature-rich phaser delivering exceptional sound quality and ease of use. You've also got Thoris, which is a next generation of a classic modulation effect, delivering astonish astonishing sonic clarity, modern controls, and a fast and intuitive interface. Now you've also, wow, we'll just keep going, hey? 
It's like that. What's the 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 man that used to sell uh, like the things on the TV, and he was like super excited, and he's like, "And there's more." Okay, this is the last one, the drum replacer, which is a machine learning based an analysis drum replacement and processing utility, providing effortless audio component separation and triggering with a sophisticated real time feature set. So that's it in a nutshell. I mean, that's a lot of products included in this effects bundle and they're all high quality. I, I can vouch for that. I've been playing with a few of these already that was available before this effects bundle but came into fruition. Really the brand new one here is Opal, which I'll try and show off a bit here today, but it is incredible value and Let's just get stuck. Let's just go straight over to it. I'm actually gonna turn off my backup drives. I'm worried they're making a bit of sound in the background there. Let's turn them off. Yep, super professional on the show. And we get straight into the music. All right, great. So we're jumping over. I've got my Ableton Live project here. And on the left here, probably hidden behind my camera, I've actually got my UVI folder open and I'm going to kick us off. So I'll play the, actually, I've got phaser loaded here, but I'll take it off because we'll start from the beginning. I was messing around with phaser before the video. Okay, so here we've got my track. I'll give you a quick listen. It's just a very chilled sort of melodic tune. In fact, it's not a track again. It's just a loop, but I'm going to show you how you can apply these effects onto each individual instrument. That's what we're going to do today using UVI. All right, so here's my little uh, ditty, as I like to call it. All right, super simple, super smooth. What are we running? 122 BPM. I mean, yeah, it couldn't get any more chill than that. I'm just gonna pull my master down a touch because we are gonna add some optical compression here. Now we're gonna jump over to my addictive drums. I'm gonna solo that so you can hear it because when I hear that in the mix, it's a bit pitter pattery, like it's not really doing anything. It's just sort of in there to sort of grooving along but it just doesn't stand out i don't really want it in my face but i want it to i want it to pop a little bit more and that's where opal which i've already played with a little bit before the show is going to come in handy so i'm going to chuck an opal in fact i'm probably going to chuck an opal on every single track today but let me just show you how good opal is and we're just literally gonna mess around with the presets and i'll show you how quickly i can get a sound I can get the drums sounding the way I want. So obviously you got your categorized presets, vocals, bass, guitar, drums, keys, drive, mix and parallel. Uh, obviously for this, I'm gonna chuck it on drums and I'll just show you how easy it is to dial in the sound and the amount of compression that I want. So let's kick off with the first preset here, which is Crunch Me. And let's have a listen to those drums. Actually I'll bypass them first. So there's my drums, dry. Love that cowbell. That's that was a must to have the cowbell in there. Cowbell. All right, put it on. All right, it's on now. Instant fatness. And I love that little graphic underneath the compression here so we can see what's happening with my compression. I can see the threshold. I'm just built, putting a bit of makeup gain on it nice we can really dial it in the mix there's a bit of tube uh, simulation going on here as well can increase the mid presence wow this is nice and treble as well we got a drive over here so we turn that down a bit let me try a different preset Oh, I like this troublemaker. Let me just put the makeup gain up. I think I like it. It's got a hundred percent mix on it. And we can, can really dial it in here. Can really hear Opal hitting hard. But obviously we don't want that. I just want to show off how cool Opal sounds. Like if you really push it. Wow, you can get some real trippy effects. No, we're just going to have it subtly here. I like that. And I'll just pull it back a bit in the mix. 
Now it's probably going to be a bit loud in my track, but let's have a listen back in the mix, and I'll just get, I'll just get it sitting nice in the mix. But now the drums uh, have got character, and they're popping just the way I like. And we only went through two different presets. There was only one other preset there, vintage bus. But I'm loving Troublemaker here. I'm going to leave this. I'm um, actually quite happy with this sound, and let's hear it in my mix. Just going to pull it back a little bit. Sweet, love it, sounds really good. It's sitting nicer in the mix and it has a bit of character. All right, let's jump along to our next sound here, which is a pad, it's just this dreamy pad here. Take the opal away, that's on our drums. All right, so first thing, let's chuck an opal on here. Let's see how we roll. I've right, got our opal here and I don't need much on this pads, but maybe I'll pop like um, we'll go through the keys presets here and just have a listen. Somewhere along there, that's nice, that's called fresh now, I really like that. Might come back, we'll just go through a couple of others. Hot and slow, I like that actually. That's getting heavily compressed. Smooth and light, but maybe I can dial it in a bit. Nah, I like this middle. I really like this. Let me just hear it in the mix here. Nice. All right, so so far I've only showed you Opal, right? But let's have a look at some of the effects, other effects that are available to us in this bundle. Now with the pad, I want some movement, a bit of modulation. There's a few options here. We could we could go with like several effects here. You could use shade, which has the modulation options there. Uh, rotary, relayer, a uh, bunch of them here. But I'm just going to go with phaser and Thoris, of course. Phaser, oh, I wouldn't mind trying Thoris. Well, let's try it. phaser. Let me show you phaser. So this is a part of the effects bundle here. Here's phaser. And I just want a bit of movement. I think this is going to give us what we want. Synth, we'll go through a bunch here. Hopefully this isn't too insane. I've got it solid. And go through a few. That's okay. It's probably a bit much. I like that it's not in sync. That's cool too. I like the speed of that modulation. No, it's a bit weird. Tremolo too fast. I like that. Mother and Phaser. Let's hear that in the mix. Probably a bit much though, I might just pull back. Pull back my drive a bit. We can tempo sync it and see if that's going to help. I can rate for here. That's better. In sync is better. Can change the shape here. Here it's solid again. I think it needed to be um, tempo synced. It was sounding a bit off before, but. That's nice. I mean, we could make it slower even, make it push it back to eight. Yeah, that's mad. Listen to that. All right, cool. Now, going back to the drums, I'm feeling like it just needs a touch, a touch of reverb, not an insane amount, but let's chuck on plate, which is also part of the effects bundle here. And I just want a tiny bit of reverb. It's probably gonna be hectic, but I'm just gonna put a tiny bit. Now, obviously, I mean, if I was doing a full track, I probably would actually have this on a bus. But for the sake of this video and just showing you guys these effects, I'm just going to chuck it directly on the track. All right, so let's have a look. So that's obviously quite hectic. Let's see. Uh, we'll go through. Let's just go through a few presets here. That's actually pretty good. Bass 240. These are mad reverbs. 
Oh, listen to the decay on the clap. That's good. It's got a short decay. Just subtle. I'll turn it off so you can hear it. Without it. Now, if I put that before the opal, the opal's really going to bring it alive and quite snappy. Let's have a listen to the mix. All right, just so I'm not boring guys too much, just wanted to put a touch of reverb there. But yeah, if you're doing a full track, I probably would have these on our bus. Not, not going to do it for the sake of this video. Now we have another little instrument here or just a little sort of melody going on this next one with our synth line. Let's have a listen and see what we could add to this. So this is like a stabby synth, I think. Yeah, it's this. I'll turn off my dreamy pad. This is a bit more four to the floor. Let's listen with our drums. Take plate down. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at what we can add here. We'll just have a let's have a muck around. So there's a few things we can do. Um, actually, I'll, we will come back to that the pad because we can add shade to that. But let's put the Thoris on here, which is our modern day modulation creative effects plugin here. We're gonna chuck this on. And by the way, it's not eating up. In fact, it's not really using any of my CPU, which is really nice to see. I just updated my OS operating system as well. So I was a bit worried that things were going to be buggy as hell today, but everything's running smoothly. So thank you for that Mac OS for not going buggy on us. All right, let's have a look at Thoris. What can we add here with Thoris? So, so we get some more phasery effects, tremolo effects. Oh, nice. That's great with the double. Love that. For bass? Oh, really like that. Add voices. Now, nah, where it was was good. That's tone. Where's our... I can add depth. Damn. All right, that's good. That's, that's really, like, widened that sound, which is kind of what that sound needs. Let's now add some movement into it. We could do the rotary. Should we check out rotary and see? I mean, this is all experimentation. Again, this is all part of the effects bundle. Again, thank you to UVR. This is a hell of a lot of fun. These effects are quality. All right, so let's have a look at rotary here. We'll go through a few. Whoa, okay, that's probably a bit too insane. That's all right, we'll go through some presets. We may not use this. Wow. See if we can find something we like here. Guitar keys. It's a bit too. We can increase the speed. Interesting. I actually like that. Missing all our low end, but it's really going to cut it out of the mix. Wow. Oh, it's interesting. We're just, we've like mono, made it super mono. We have a like stereo wide Thoris going into mono. Like, check this out. Turn rotary off. Very wide. And then listen when I put this on. Super mono. Nah, look, I think we'll, I mean, rotary, if you want that extreme rotary effect, you are definitely going to get it. I actually think what this, all this needs now, and again, I'd probably put this on a bus, but just a light, subtle bit of delay. And I'm going to use the spatial delay, which is the dual delay effects. Chuck it up here on my sound. Let's just find a nice little preset that fits nice. Now, one of the things I loved about this particular effects plugin is this rotation here because it gives that sort of spatial sound. And if you had like surround sound and stuff, you get it sounding real trippy. So you can sort of rotate it around in a 360 degree. Let's work out where it sounds the best. Obviously, I'm using stereo headphones here, so it's a bit trickier, but I can still hear it moving around. It's pretty crazy. Put a bit of digital grid on it. I 
That's a bit too much. Oh, I like that, but I might go back to something simpler. Actually, I like the 16th. Nah, 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 too much. Hang on. We'll get there, we'll get there. Yeah, that, that'll do. Let's turn our mix down a bit. Hell yeah. So we just got Thoris and Jewel Delay. Sorry, I don't want to bore you to death with that particular one melody line there. Let's hear it in the mix now. Here we go. That sounds mad. Just using the UVI effects bundle. All right, let's move along to our next sound here, which will be our bass, bass line. Oh, it's a four to the floor kick. I apologize. Uh, we can chuck an opal on this just to fatten it up. Let's fatten it up. Chuck it on the drum, probably crunch me. Ooh. Oh, that's amazing. That's going to be hectic loud. <laughs> Look at that. Actually so good on drums, the opal. Let's put it back in the mix. Oh, so good that cowbell. Love it. All right, let's actually put our little... How do these two instruments sound together? Are they going to... Uh, okay, cool. I'll just probably on my pad because I want that. I want the bass, bassy sort of stab to stand out a bit more in the lower end. So all I would do is I'll chuck in a shade, and I would actually put it before opal. So this is our EQ, slice and dice EQ, really getting in there. Very amazing sound, sounding EQ. Uh, I've got a bunch of presets. You've got color. You've got and it can do all the multi-effects processing stuff, which is insane. It's got movement and so forth, like moving effects, for example. Uh, but we let's go through. I don't really want crazy modulation on my bass, obviously. So we've got to try and work out a way to not have... Look, we've got all these insane moving ones. It's just not going to... I don't know. You can have a listen. Let's have a listen to... Have I got it on the pad, have I? That's nice for movement. We've already got... A phaser on here so it's kind of a bit odd that we would be adding that so let's wow see wah wah color let's try color nah color's not right let's go keep going through we'll find some dynamic baby okay cool let's go through here all right let's do a high pass resonance multi-resonance or do we want let's go expander yeah so this is all i'll do i'll just cut a little bit a bit of movement going on with shade here but i'll just get my pad so it's nice in the mix how beautiful is this this is vector bass too how good is that a lot of these actually a lot of these uvi effects are vector bass to make a massive you can't really tell in my video such lovely looking gooeys right, let's hear that in the mix and probably my stabs can come down a bit oh it's, that's nuts i had an opal on it right all right cool this bass line i think i recorded this in i did too I thought that was a plugin. Okay, so I recorded that in, I believe, using my Mini Freak, and it sounds really good actually. I thought it was out of time when I recorded it in originally, so that's why I thought I had a plugin doing that bass. But anyway, baseline it is, and <laughs> let's have a listen. Oh, it's already got. Oh, it's got a side chain on it. I was like, what is that? Oh, let's just hear our bass. It probably does need that side chain though. Um, so bass again, chuck an opal on. This is a fantastic plugin. Loving opal. Simple to use, very easy to see everything. We are starting to, I mean, we've got a bunch of plugins going. We're starting to use about 30% of my CPU though, which is, that's a lot. 
I don't think these Macs are fully, I mean, I don't think the software is fully optimized for these Macs yet though, because they can just chew up, like they got so much power. All right, so let's look at base. Let's see what we got. Click limits. Oh, that's good. What was that? Fat none. Perfect. I mean, the presets are going to do it for you guys. I don't even need to show you what to do here today. Maybe add a tiny bit more drive if you want. Um, turn the treble off, mid presence up a bit. Actually, I like the treble on. Let's increase. No, let's let's increase the threshold. Where was it about here? Sounds really good. Makeup gain about there. And I'm going to put the opal before my one knob um, compressor. Just gives that suction sound. It's probably a bit extreme. I don't know why I had it so high. So that's the waves one knob suctiony side chain sound effect. Let's hear it. It's a lazy side chain that that plugin. Just fattens it up. That sounds great. Oh, how good is that? You know what I want to do here. I want to play lastly before we end the video, which is actually, which is my, oh, that's my interest in my foot of the floor. This one, this here, can't believe I didn't do this. I mean, again, I'll probably put the plate on a bus, but this deserves a plate. And you could really just drench it in the mix, right? I love this gold one. All right, so listen to this, right? Mm. Turn my drums off. All right. This would be like a breakdown thing. Oh, it's suctioning out. These reverbs sound so good. Amazing. Actually, one, I don't think I showed you everything. Um, there is spark verb as well. So maybe we should have a look at just a couple of the others before we wrap the video up. They are freaking amazing. I am absolutely loving these plugins. So spark verb, it is an intelligent reverb. You got this beautiful spectral visualizer here shows you how much your reverb is affecting the frequency damn that's a really good sounding reverb and again we've got a bunch of presets hall i can yeah you can see the frequency has got a like a low pass filter on it dude wow actually i really like this la hall thing Mostly on the low end. What's that in the mix sound like? Damn, listen to that. All right. I'm getting all Ricky Tenez on you guys today. If you know who that is, of course. Of course you do. If you're watching me, you know who that is. All right. So that's Sparkverb. Amazing, intelligent reverb plugin. And what else haven't I shown you? I just want to make sure I've shown you everything. So we looked at Opal. We looked at Jewel Delay X. We looked at Phaser. We looked at Plate. We didn't look at Relayer, actually. I've got to leave that spark verb on. That's amazing. This poor sound is just going to get drenched in effects now because I need to just show you before we wrap up the video. But this is the last one I didn't show you. And there's Drum Replacer, which I'm not actually going to show you on the video today uh, just because... I don't want to replace any of the drums. I'm loving them, but you can essentially do that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but let's look at Relayer and see what we can do with it. Let's solo it up here. Let's turn off Spark Verb. Turn off Dual Delay X because you already had a delay going. That's dry. And then actually, that's completely dry. Wow. It's kind of boring, right? Relayer on. Oh, you can get some. That's pretty cool. Classic sort of. Ah, oh, okay. It's giving you that beat mashery. Oh, I actually like that. Turn your wet and dry here. 
Interesting. Ah, oh, that's for crashes you can use on... Ah, oh, that's cool. What else have we got? We've got reverbs on here as well. I mean, a lot of these effects are sort of like multi-effects. They're going to be able to do bunches of stuff. Um, spaces, maybe. No, I like... Um, we'll go back to... I like these. Because these are doing multiple things. Yeah, you got like... Effects cut off, effects one, effects two is cut off, pan, gain going down on delay, feedback. Damn, this is a really interesting sounding. So turn the drive, you can hear it in action. Nice. Damn, son. Turn on Thoris again. Maybe just spark verb. Turn wet down. How's that sound? Put our cheesy ass drums back in. All right, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there, and I'm probably boring you guys to death with that little melody line there. But what did you think of it? Do you like my little track? What do I call it? Body Booty. You're going to be able to see that throughout the whole video. Yes, I name my things some weird names when I don't know what to name them. But anyway, guys, that is the UVI Creative Bundle, brand new from UVI, just released this week. Big shout out to UVI for letting us check that out today it's super exciting the effects bundle there it is there i'll have a link for it down below intro price 33 percent off at 199 dollars do yourself a favor if you don't have like any collection of incredible or even if you do have some effects or you're just using your daw door effects this is like the icing on the cake in my opinion because they give you pretty much everything and a lot of these effects can do multi-effects which is really handy I mean, I'm loving the sound just with what I've created today. Like if I was to bypass everything and you listen to that little ditty we we're listening to over and over again, you'd actually hear quite a massive difference. But again, you know, going through the list here, there is quite a lot. I know we didn't look at drum replacer. Maybe I'll have to do a separate video for that just to really get in there and show you uh, how that can, you know, mix up a machine learning based analysis drum replacement. So if you wanted to essentially swap out some of those drum sounds but i just really love that drum loop that i had there today with especially with that cowbell can't go wrong with that cowbell all right guys let me know what you guys thought of it today on the show thank you so much for joining me big shout out to our sponsor of course ridley academy i have the link for that down below as well learn how to play the piano in 21 days and reach a pro level fast and you can just register it's a free masterclass down below check it out see if it's for you if you don't like it then boom but if you love it then boom you should learn to become a piano pro before i do and we'll be back next week guys thank you so much for joining me peace out boom hey thanks for listening to the emlyn in the mix podcast here you will find all the latest in music technology software and hardware interviews and more also don't forget to check out the emlyn in the mix youtube channel today Till next time, keep it real.